Hi, uh, greetings from Venice. Uh, I've just come back from uh, Como, uh, the Vacation Rental World Summit organized by Antonio Bortolotti. And I want to give a, a quick recap uh, from, from our perspective, from the TRIPS community perspective, and in general, uh, a, few, a few news and a few, uh, a, a little bit of analysis of, of where the industry is, is going, according to me. Um, so, first of all, uh, Antonio's problem is always that uh, he wants to make it better every year. And uh, I'd say he managed to do it better. <laughs> it was as good as last year, plus, uh, plus better. I mean, he got uh, much more, um, more interesting um, uh, speakers, or I would say bigger speakers. Um, even if I have to admit, I haven't seen many of them uh, because I was too focused on talking to people. So um, I look forward to seeing the, the videos for what they missed, but I don't know, it, it got it got very, very, very well. I'm not talking about only logistically, but the kind of atmosphere um, he and his wife were able to, to create, uh, not only thanks to the theater, but I, I just think, you know, it, it, it comes from a personal uh, view is not a corporation organizing this and it's going to be interesting to see host at the end of the month actually which is a really you know corporate event we see the difference is going to be really interesting to see uh, but what Antonio has done is, is stunning I have never been to conferences with this kind of um, he makes him he makes him he makes it easy to to talk to people in a way um, it's really it's got this family feeling anyway um, so congrats to, to Antonio, the best vacation rental conference ever in the world, according to me at least. Um, yeah, uh, now I'm in Venice. Uh, when I, I booked my, my week out, uh, I had this, a couple of days empty uh, because I have another conference in Rimini uh, tomorrow and I had two days where uh, I wish I didn't know what to do and I said okay let's see what happens and something happened I met uh, Mauro and Carmen who have this apartment in Venice actually it's two apartments amazing apartments and uh, they I asked them to to stay here so I could test it and that's one of the things we do with uh, uh, with trips we we try we we try to give some value uh, to hosts and we test apartments so we leave a a feedback about all the, the small defect and the, the places which can be improved. Anyway, um, I'll give you a link later to, to the website they launched. These apartments are not on the OTA for the moment. Um, I think Mauro and Carmen are planning to launch them uh, out of the OTAs for at least a while. So, um, hotels. I, this year, hotels got in our space uh, heavily. Uh, two names come to mind. One is uh, Marriott. Uh, Marriott is, I mean, like huge. And they are getting in um, with a very strong, um, um, I mean, they're getting very seriously. There were at least three of them there. And uh, I even had the chance to talk to them. Uh, the way they're going to work is basically selecting properties and, and offering these properties to uh, their uh, guests and um, well we'll see how it goes it's, it's really interesting and um, they're going to bring a lot of professionality to the market um, I, I told them I'm a bit um, skeptic of the fact they don't visit every single apartment they just visit uh, um, some I think 15% are visited but they say they have a very strong quality control uh, procedure and, uh, and so we'll see, it's, uh, it's going to be very interesting. And the other one is Oyo. Oyo, you, you may have heard, is a, an Indian company which got um, investments from Airbnb. Uh, Airbnb wanted to, they wanted to get into the market, into the hotel market in India. And then they raised other, other funds. There's this uh, crazy soft bank investment uh, fund, which is investing in Uber and, and other big companies and even in WeWork. WeWork has been a recently failed attempt to, to do an IPO uh, or some may say to do a pump and dump scheme. 
basically pumping and then dumping on the public uh, and they've been blocked basically. Mm. So OYO is much less linear in their in their proposal. Actually, it's really unclear to me what they're planning to do. I, what I've seen is they buying uh, property management companies and uh, I understood that they want to kind of create a standard um, a branding for vacation rentals. This is something I agree is missing because somebody was saying you, when you go in an Airbnb, you go in an Airbnb and you never remember the brand of the apartment if, if there was like a big property management company. So yeah, it is needed. Um, it looks at least, you know, looking at the website, a, a pretty messy approach. I have this doubt that they are, they have some, they, oh, sorry, they raised a million, a billion and 700 millions. I can't even understand what that number means. And, and when you have this kind of money, I, I guess you gotta have to spend it pretty fast. So they've been buying right and left and uh, well, we'll see another incredibly interesting thing. But bottom line, uh, the era of non-professional vacation rentals is kind of over. Uh, it doesn't mean that there won't be non-professional vacation rentals, but most of the action is going to be kind of corporate. Uh, in my opinion, and I, I really agree with uh, Simon Levin on this, um, property management companies haven't yet found the way to give you a proper uh, experience in, in property management in, in apartments. I tend to stay away by any property management uh, apartment because at least until, until I always find problems um, starting with the cleaning. So I'm sure it's gonna mature, it's gonna change. But uh, yeah, um, hotels will probably bring some solutions here. They've been doing this for a bit longer. They know how to clean. Uh, they have procedures and they have the platform. One of my ideas, uh, one of the things I think is going to happen is that the hotel world will first realize that hotel rooms are becoming a niche. Like, you know, when you used to go, um, say, I'm going to go to Paris and the question was like, oh, okay, what, what hotel are you going to stay in? Because it was the default accommodation option. And now you say I'm going to Paris and the question is where are you going to stay or are you going to stay in a hotel, are you going to stay in an apartment and so on. So hotel rooms are going to become a niche and hotels have to understand and they will understand that they have to get into this market. And so there's going to be a lot of uh, professional hotel companies and there's been already, but more will come probably trying to find a way to get into this market. Um, I personally think the hotels will realize soon, soon that they are platforms already. Uh, they are property management platforms with some rooms on top of them. So they have reception, they have cleaning, they have all the, um, the, the, the offices and bureaucracy sorted out and they can manage apartments around the, the hotel. So I'm pretty sure this is gonna, um, it's gonna become common for hotels to manage also uh, apartments around them but there's going to be many different formulas a lot of trial and error and you know as with every trial and error there's going to be mistakes and there's going to be a few successes and then people will see the success copy it and in a few years for sure the level the quality um, of, of apartments and vacation rentals in general is going to be uh, it's going to be much higher on the other hand um, I think we, we can start forgetting this kind of um, uh, friend, friendliness and, and familiarity you get uh, in this industry. Uh, the real money is getting in, the real money brings in suit and ties and it brings in double speak and it brings in a lot of, well, things change, uh, it's fine.